Today we will discuss orthogonal projection operator. By an orthogonal projection operator, we mean a projection operator on a Hilbert space for which null space and range space are orthogonal. We have also proved that a projection operator on a Hilbert space is an orthogonal projection operator if and only if that projection operator is self-adjoint. So in this way we can say that an orthogonal projection operator is a self-adjoint projection operator. Now we shall prove a theorem. If P is a projection operator on a Hilbert space H, then the range of P is a closed subspace of H. P is a projection operator means P is a mapping from H to H and P is also a linear operator and P square is equal to P. Let us prove this theorem. Let M is equal to P of H. P of H means range of P and since P is a mapping from H to H, so P of H is a subset of H. So we can say that M is a subset of H. We can check M is a subspace of H. As for Px, Py in M and for any scalars alpha beta, alpha Px plus beta Py is equal to P of alpha x plus beta y because P is linear. And since L x and y are belonging to H, so alpha x plus beta y belongs to H. And so alpha px plus beta py is image of some element of H. So alpha px plus beta py belongs to M implies M is a linear subspace of H. It remains to show that M is closed. That is, we have to show that M contains all its limit points. So let Y be a limit point of M. Then there exists a sequence Yn in M such that Yn converges to Y as N tends to infinity. For each Yn belongs to M, there exists xn in h such that yn is equal to pxn for every n belongs to m because yn belongs to m so yn is image of some element of h so there exists some element xn in h such that yn is equal to pxn so for each n belongs to n a set of natural numbers pyn is equal to p of p of xn since yn is equal to p xn so we have p square xn but since p is a projection operator so p square is equal to p so here we have p xn and p xn is equal to yn so we have p yn is equal to yn for every n belongs to n as p is continuous because it is bounded any projection operator is bounded so p is also continuous and so it is also sequentially continuous and since yn converges to y as n tending to infinity so p y n converges to p y for as n tends to infinity and p y n is equal to y n so this implies that y n converges to p y as n tends to infinity and earlier we have y n converges to y as n tends to infinity here we have y n converges to p y as n tends to infinity so these limits must be equal so y is equal to p y and p y belongs to p of h is equal to m so we have shown that y belongs to m y is any limit point of m and y belongs to m so we can say that M contains its limit points, so M is a closed subspace of H. Now we have a remark from the above theorem 
the range space M of projection operator P on Hilbert space H is a closed subspace of H. We have proved. So M is a closed subspace of H and H is a Hilbert space. So by projection theorem, H is equal to direct sum of M and orthogonal complement of M. But we know that if M is the range space of a projection operator P on Hilbert space H and M is the null space of P, then H is equal to direct sum of M and N. From these two expressions, we can say that N is equal to orthogonal complement of M. That is, null space of P is orthogonal complement of range space of P. Now we have a definition. Two projections P and Q on a Hilbert space H are said to be orthogonal if and only if PQ is equal to 0. That is, composition of P and Q is equal to 0. 0 here is actually operator, null operator. Two projections P, P and Q are orthogonal projection operators on Hilbert space H and they are orthogonal if their product is a null operator. Now we note that if PQ is equal to 0, then QP is equal to 0 and conversely. If we take PQ is equal to 0, then this implies their the Hilbert adjoint operator of PQ is equal to Hilbert adjoint operator of 0. And this PQ star is equal to Q star P star is equal to 0 because null operator is self-adjoint. So here we have 0 null operator. And this since P and Q are self-adjoint because they are orthogonal projection operators. So Q star is equal to Q, P star is equal to P. So we have Q, P is equal to 0. And similarly, we can show that um, Q, P is equal to 0 implies P, Q is equal to 0. So um, here this um, condition for orthogonality can be written as Q, P is equal to 0. It means two projections P and Q are said to be orthogonal if QP is equal to 0. Now we shall prove a theorem which states that let P and Q be projections on closed subspaces M and N of a Hilbert space H respectively. That is range space of P is M and range space of Q is N. Then P and Q are orthogonal if and only if M is orthogonal to N. Let us prove this theorem. Let P and Q be orthogonal. Then we have to prove that M and N are orthogonal. And P and Q are orthogonal means PQ is equal to null operator. So for each X belongs to M and for each Y belongs to N in a product of XY is equal to inner product of Px and Qy. Why? Since x belongs to range space of M, uh, range space of P, and we know that image of any element of range space is the element itself. So Px is equal to x. And since range space of Q is N, so and y belongs to n, so qy is equal to y. So here x and y can be replaced by px and qy. And by definition of Hilbert adjoint operator, we here um, we have an inner product of x and p star qy. And since p is an orthogonal projection operator, so it is self adjoint, and so p star is equal to p. We have here in the product x, p, q, y. And since p and q are orthogonal, so p, q is equal to 0. So we have in a product of x and 0 operator, 
on y gives us 0. And so here we have 0. And the product of x and 0 is 0. So here, if we take any element of m and n, then their inner product is equal to 0. So we can say that any element of m is orthogonal to every element of n. And conversely, and so m and n are orthogonal sets. Conversely, let m and n are orthogonal means every element of n is orthogonal to m. So m is contained in orthogonal complement of n. Since orthogonal complement of m contains all those elements of h which are orthogonal to every element of m. So n must be a subset of orthogonal complement of m. And n is given by the set qx where x belongs to h because n is the range space of q. So n is nothing but the set of all those elements qx where x belongs to h. So it means qx belongs to orthogonal complement of m for every x belongs to h. As m is the range of p, so orthogonal complement of m is the null space of p because uh, we have given a remark that orthogonal complement of m is the null space. So here we can say that um, orthogonal complement of m is the null space of p. So any element of orthogonal complement of m uh, will be mapped to 0 under p. So we can say that p of qx is equal to 0 for every x belongs to h. And that can be written as pq of x is equal to 0 for every x belongs to h. And pq is an operator which maps every element of x, uh, every element of h to 0. So pq must be null operator. So pq is equal to null operator and that means p and q are orthogonal. Thank you.